Sorry, Chopper. Uh, Jada Rodriguez here, guys, and uh, you may have seen me on YouTube doing different moves to this. Uh, you may have seen me doing dance moves. Subscribe if you haven't already. But look, I just came back from seeing the Power Rangers movie, and I've relived my childhood. It was awesome, it was great, but there's only one problem. I wanted to make a cake after I saw the movie. Yeah, that's right, I saw the movie, I came back, I wanted to make a cake, and I went onto your YouTube channel, and there was no Power Rangers cake. Please make me that cake. Here you go, buddy. Here is your Power Ranger cake. I've chosen the yellow one and stay tuned for more to come because I think I'm going to do all five. What you're going to do is head over to the Cakes by Chopper Facebook page and print out your template, which is in the photo tab. Using the face shape that has the full helmet in the center, which is your color reference, cut out two of those minus the ears level off your cake and then stack it on top once you have filled it with your favorite flavoring. I've just stuck with the ganache here because it's easy to work with in this current weird weather we're having. Once you've got your cakes filled and stacked, you're going to chop off the mouthpiece from the template, measure that along, and on the top layer of cake, you're just going to cut halfway through and slice that off, but keep it, don't chuck it. As you can see, I put it back on and I tape it around, just making sure there's no harsh edges and we're gonna keep that to raise the front of the helmet. Now you can continue on to cover that and just cr basically crumb coat the cake and seal it all in so it doesn't dry out while you're working. Then you're gonna place on that bottom mouthpiece flat along the edge where the mouth was cut and then a little triangle of the offcuts up the top that will give you the room for the indentations of where the eyes sit. Give it a generous coat in the ganache and smooth it out. This is where you're getting the basic shape from to put your fondant over. So you want to get it as smooth and nice as possible. Use whatever technique you're comfortable with. I mixed between a warm spatula and then a little bit of paper towel to smooth it over. Using a piping bag with some ganache, I put three layers around the bottom of the chin and then just melded that into the top of the helmet and around the side and a little stripe across where his lips would be, or her lips. Then I rolled out the yellow fondant, placed that over the top, smoothed it down into the indentations first, then went around the edges making sure it was secured. But I did forget to push the mouthpiece down, so I had to cut a little air hole. This doesn't matter what step you do, but I would recommend pushing that in first just so your fondant doesn't tear away from the top of the helmet there where the lip is. Go around the edges and trim off all the excess, and then I used a bit of extra balled up fondant to smooth out and buffer out the helmet because it's the final look basically and lightly put in some indentations of where the marks for the helmet will go just so you've got a good idea where to put the eyes using my little sculpting tool i removed the piece from his mouth and placed in the lips uh, this is just because we don't want to have too much fondant on this cake there is already a lot so we try and reduce it as much as we can now for the visor, you're going to put it on and mark out where it would be at the top and bottom. Then using an extra bit of paper, trace it and add the extra bits at the side because we're doing a 3D cake and the picture is 2D. So you want it to go that little bit extra so it doesn't look weird when you put this tiny little visor on. Now you can grab your sculpting tool and carefully cut out where you've drawn that little line on and remove all the fondant from the center. Be extra careful not to drop any on the outer mask because the ganache will stain your fondant. So be extra, extra careful. Now we rolled out some black fondant and cut out that middle template again. Be careful not to stretch it like I did or you'll have to trim it like I did. And just trim that to the inside, gluing it down with a little bit of water next to the yellow fondant. Repeat the same process for the mouthpiece. I cut it just a little bit bigger and then sort of squished it together and put it in and pushed it right to the side so it sat in nice and flush. And then used the sculpting tools to give the lips a little bit of the definition. And then for the bottom, I just cut a thin strip. I had two attempts at this because I cut it a bit too short the first time. So I cut it longer the second time and then just thought it was easier to trim it once it was on. After balling up some more black fondant a little bit thicker, I started working on the tusks for the helmet where I just constantly measured them against the visor and trimmed them down and let them sit aside. Then I did the nose and the eye pieces as well. This is where I referred to the template a lot. And I just sort of 
got the sizing on the template and then adjusted it to the actual cake because there is a little bit of growth because of the ganache you put on and then the fondant as well so there is a slight adjustment once you've got the eyes on straight have a look at the top give it a bird's eye view to make sure you've got them just right and then you can give your tusks and nose a coat in silver edible food paint uh, i put a lot on to, so there was no streaks or anything um, i would recommend doing this absolutely last because when i touched it it would smear and i, I didn't give it enough time to dry so Okay, so once you've done that, you can paint the mouth as well and then place the tusks on because you're going to put in this top lip part of the helmet and then taper off the edges with your sculpting tool. You just want to get it to sort of fade into the sides and do that both sides, obviously. Then you're going to place on the nose because that sits on top of that. And now you can work on the little raised lip parts above the tusks, which is just that little extra something. The helmet has it and it looks great. I'm not even sure why they're there. And this is where you take the opportunity to fix up any of the little smudges or streaks that you left from the first coat. Using a bit more of the yellow fondant, you're going to cut out two little pyramids the size of the ears on the template and attach them with some water. It's best to paint on and let it go a little bit tacky so it sticks as soon as you put it on. To clean up the bottom edge, I just rolled out a very long thin snake, started from the bottom and wrapped it up around the top, crossed it over, put a slice in it and then pushed them together and used the brush to smooth out the little join. Then it's time to get your gel food dye and paint in the details of the helmet itself. Originally I wasn't going to do this, but I kind of think it just really needed it to make the helmet details pop. Um, once I'd gone around just following the template of where everything was had a super dark line or was really highlighted. Um, with these pieces around the tusk, I also did them quite thick as in I followed from the top of the helmet all the way up around the side so it was visible from a bird's eye view and the sides of the cake. Making sure I went around the bottom of the mouth to accentuate that little extra piece of the helmet. And I actually did these as thin as I could, then I went back and I was like, nah, that needs to be raised. So I went around the nose and raised that up so it was visible as well to give it that real cartoony look. Now on the helmet, the sides of this, I actually had an extra printout of a few more details. And I noticed that there was lines that went on the side that you couldn't see from the template. So I'll include that on the Facebook page just so you can get the most realistic look because this is a throwback it's the original yellow Power Ranger helmet. Now, once you're happy with the final look of it, get your cake steamer, give it a steam so it's got that nice glossy look. And there you go, that is your yellow Power Ranger helmet. Why don't you drop me a comment and let me know which color Ranger I should do next. I'm thinking the red one, but also check out my two buddies here, Jaden, thank you for requesting the cake. And also Anthony, Captain Fizzman, who you may have seen earlier in the video in Jaden's intro. These guys are great YouTubers. Please check them out. Show them some love. Thank you for watching my video and I'll catch you next time. Bye guys.